What's up guys and welcome to another tutorial here on Shade Designs. Um, today tutorial is about how to apply text glow effect. We're going to apply that to our text using Adobe Photoshop. It's a quick, simple and easy um, tutorial. I apologize for the first video that I made. It went a bit long, about 25 minutes I believe. But I'll promise this will be a quick video that you guys will learn. Um, so before we do that, we're just going to head off. This is our, this is my Twitter page, official Twitter page. You can follow me at twitter.com forward slash shade designs. I also have a Facebook fan page, which is shade designs. Just search for shade designs in uh, Facebook and you'll find it. Um, I'll post all the links, all the uh, recent works that I did. I'll be posting them onto um, the Facebook fan page. Um, enough said and uh, let's get into the tutorial today. Okay, so we're going to of course start off by getting an image. Now today's uh, tutorial we will require to get an image that's grayscale, that's distorted, that has a lot of uh, noise and background, um, you, know, uh, you, know, you know, things that happen up a lot in the background. Um, so we just try to get this image here. Just make sure that you get a large image format. So we can get this one. Okay, like that. Okay, good there. And then copy. We're gonna open, of course, Adobe Photoshop. So um, just let it bounce as it as it gets excited. Um, of course, this is Adobe CS5, so this is the latest. Um, this is the latest version of Adobe Creative Suite. Okay, so we're gonna create a new document. Um, now it already knows the. Um, the size of the image that we're going to import into Photoshop, so it's already set to 900 by 600. But of course, I could always get change it around, and uh, we're going to just put that bit here, and we're just going to paste the image there. Okay, so what we're going to first start off with is create a text. Now, the text we're going to use, of course, um, just make sure that it's a white color text. Um, so just click onto our text tool here. Okay. And uh, just let it load. <laughs> um, yep. So just make sure that your the size of the font is set to to seventy five. Um, of course, a white color. Um, and this text called Century Gothic. I think most people have it pre-installed on their computer. Um, of course, you can use you know whatever text that you want to use. Okay. So we're going to just click if anywhere. I'm going to start typing. Uh, let's type in Shade Designs. How obvious is that? <laughs> Shade designs, okay. Now we're going to put, place this towards the center of the page. Well, not towards the center, but just make sure that the D hits, um, you know, like in between the two buildings, okay. And now we're going to create um, a glow effect on this text. So that's simple. So what we do is we, um, so you go to your text layer, right hand click. You click on to blending options, and as I said before, you would enjoy you start using this blending option mode on Photoshop, um, and hit to add a glow. See how there's there's inner glow which you know, doesn't you know do like any changes unless you know like you play around with the text. So, uh, there's you know there's inner shadow. So we're just gonna click on to the add a glow today. So click on to add a glow as well, and then as you can see, there, you applied already a yellow glow effect on our text okay okay so you just click onto the yellow color there and just choose the color that you want to make a glow uh, a glow on uh, so we're going to choose a as I said um, my favorite color blue so we're going to go like that okay actually yeah that's okay and now we're going to increase the size to about um, about let's say about now it's a bit high. Um, no, um, yeah, that's it. So hit it to about 30. Yeah. Just hit it to 30. Okay. Now, as a kid, like you could always, as I said before, you could always play around with this. It just that it comes through practice that you know the exact number to use and the size. So it's just, as I said, it's just through practice. Uh, press OK, and now we're going to create a shadow behind the white text. So, you know, the D here, um, as you can see, if a person would read this, um, you know, the, 
the deer would be a bit separable towards the uh, the color of the sky and actual you know the color of the text because as I said it's a black and white photo so there's only two colors that have been involved so we're going to put a stroke yeah, something that's called a stroke which means we're going to put a border around individual text okay so we're going to hit to our t to the text layer right hand click click onto blending with options and then we're going to click on to the last one called stroke okay so click on to stroke as and then from the size has set to three just hit just bring that down to two okay and the color we're going to change the color from black to about um we're here to let's say to that type of color okay so if you want to get the exact color that i'm using that's the code that you could use okay just press ok and ok okay now we're going to create uh, a shadow you know like what is known to uh, to be in the industry it's known as a fake shadow so it's artificial um, and this is applied to magazine yeah, covers you know where they take um, you know an, an artist's uh, to outdoors and they create fake shadow like using like Photoshop so I'm just going to show you how to do that so we're going to copy the text layer by pressing Control A and then copy then paste it again so Command A so if on the Mac, then copy and then paste. So you can see when we paste it, and we so when we copy this, uh, when we copy the text layer and we paste it, it takes away all our um, the effects that we applied for us. So the reason why it's doing that is, is because that this is no longer a, um, an editable, um, an editable uh, was a, a text, so you can't edit this. But unless, for example, if I try to click into it, it when edit, it would you bring me up the uh, blending of options? Okay, so we're going to hit to, we're going to go to, we're going to change the color from white to gray. So we're going to do that by clicking on to image, adjustments, and then to exposure. Okay, now exposure, just play around with these uh, dials here to get um, towards, say, blackish. So like minus eight will do. And then we're going to bring that and we're going to try to line them against each other. Um, and then we're going to create, um, uh, what's it? We're going to pull, um, we're going to distort the black uh, text by that uh, means that it would create a 3D type effect. For example, if the D was standing there, like we'd have that type of, was a, there'll be a shadow of a D standing there. So we're going to press. Um, so we're going to go to and press Command A. Actually, just press um, exit this actually, and then just press Command T for to, to transform. And we're going to come to distort. Okay. Now we're going to come to distort. As you can see, we're going to stretch the S to that side. Uh, actually, we're going to bring that S down to the side um, and try to line the D's together. And we're going to squeeze this bit forward. As you could see, it could be lined like a shadow. Right, and we're going to create um, the shadow effect, which is called blur. Okay, so hit it to blur and try to go to um, to motion blur. So motion blur, we're going to go. We're going to we're going to go. Actually, instead of using motion blur, what, what we could do is we could use um, lens blur. Okay, and that would open up a separate uh, dialog box that would um, that would allow you to change the uh, the, the format. See how you can see it's already really set to us to to make it as a f as a fake um, shadow. So we're going to decrease the radius to let's say about um, eight. Uh, actually, just make it about twelve will do. 12 and then uh, the brightness actually just leave the brightness there uh, amount not just leave the bright and then just hit OK OK so it created already the shadow OK now we're going to create uh, we're going to add some you just try to move that bit forward now we're going to place the black text behind the white text by just going on to delay the one to move around and then just bring it below that text again. 
Now we're going to create uh, some color effects on the, the image. Okay, so go to your image layer, and then on the image layer, just click on the layer, new layer. So we're going to apply a new layer on top of the image was of our layer, and we're going to apply we're going to apply some colors to it. Okay, so we're going to try to go for um, go to your um, the shapes option and click on to eclipse tool. Okay, so it comes up with the eclipse tool. We're going to change the color. Uh, we want gray one. We want uh, let's say um, bluish. Okay, actually we'll use pink for the first time. Okay, and then just draw a circle. Okay, as simple as that. Okay, now we're going to press Control T, Command T, and we're going to increase that to about that much. Okay, we're going to drag it to the corner, as I said, and we're going to increase that so it could be taken half of the page. Okay, and we're going to put it there, right there. Okay, and then just press Enter. Then from there if onwards, what we're going to do is there's um, there's certain techniques they could uh, do. You could either go to bending options and play around with these things here, or you could just, for example, press if you press for multiply, you'd have a pink um, and a white um, the type of your face. Or what we could do is we could go to um, a filter and go to was it the Gaussian blue, and they'll apply a sort of a like a yeah, like a fading type um, yeah, effect onto it. So just go to to 170, okay. We don't like using the decimals and press OK. And then from there onwards, you're going to press. Uh, you're going to go to the, your layer for the pink layer. Uh, to right click to blending with options, and then go to your blending mode and hit that to multiply. As you can see, we just created. You know, our pink is bit yeah, fading out and looks more professionally, but. And we're going to go back to our text layer, and we're going to change the color of um, the stroke to about the same color, so to a pink, I'd say. And actually, go back and uh, just change the glow as well to pink. Actually, red. Just hit it to red. There we are. Oh yeah, that looks sexy. Press OK, and you're all done. So that's it for today's. For today's tutorial, I hope that you learned something. Um, and as I said once again, just follow me on Twitter, Facebook, and um, and um, you know, yes, yeah, just subscribe to this YouTube channel. Until then, take care and peace.